figuring out the type form and auto emails for the QAC announcement. Uh, it was uh, really, uh, really helpful to get those emails going. And of course, major praise to Craddy for just being everywhere, uh, like Pairwise, Unicorn, all the all the work to improve Giveth. Uh, and and really praise to all the developers that increase the the load bearing or load bearing the the load uh, of the give it app so that we could handle the region and region like not spammers but the massive donations that came in from the region uh, token air air hunt, airdrop hunters it was wild and so I can't and I can't believe how well the DAP held up. I'll pass it over to Lauren. Thanks, Griff. Um, I want to praise William for all the great work that he's been done, doing on the Give Economy. Um, he's just been trying to like get our token listings updated. He's taken on this task of Give Token Distro that's just like an unreasonably complicated task. And he's been really, really taking it like a champ, even when I'm like getting really frustrated at just how hard things are. But he's like super organized and doing an amazing job there. Um, I also want to praise Mitch and Amin because like those two guys always answer my tech questions. I'm always like, I'm so deeply confused by this thing. And then they like really help to clarify it and really just like make things make more sense. And that's absolutely incredible. And I want to praise Amin because she's just always taking all these comms issues and just like like turning them out super fast and she's just like so smart and she just understands everything so well and she's so efficient and it's just such a great thing to work with almond she just makes my life better all the time and i'll pass it to almond thank you lauren um i want to praise um ashley also for taking the email thing <laughs> Is, that was kind of a discussion. So praise Ashley for taking it and doing it so so fast. Uh, I want to praise Lauren for taking in the Give uh, Marketing Initiative and uh, keep moving forward. No matter if the strategy uh, had changed, uh, she she always just um, pull it through. And I want to praise. Algin, because uh, she's always super responsive, creating content, asking if uh, what what should be done next. So praise Algin for always uh, being a great person to work with. And I'll pass it to Ashley. Thanks, Almond. Praise. Okay, it's so hard to fit so much praise for a whole month into one call, but here we go. I want to praise Jake. He's like so positive all the time. He's like so supportive. He's been working with me to collect all the wallet addresses from the sponsors to do this like give backs thing. And um, yeah, I just feel like he really cares about me. He's always checking in on me and he cares about everyone else at Giveth. And it, it just like makes working with him such a joy. I want to praise Midge for being, he's like the master at connect the dots. He like finds the places where people are setting down the torch, picks it up, hand it to the next person and followed through on. Like, I think he's like a secret octopus with eight hands and three computers or something. I don't know how he does it. And also, Almond, I want to praise you too. I swear you like basically single-handedly run the comms teams. Ever since you became the steward, so many people will come and go and, you know, it's not very consistent, but the consistency and quality of content always coming from Giveth remains top-notch. And I really don't know what Giveth would do without you. And I will pass it over to Santi. Hello everyone, uh, just uh, nice to be around. I couldn't join the other calls, so I think this is my first time, time town hall. I just want to give praise to everyone, uh, 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 praise for all the group and especially the new faces. Uh, a lot of new people I, I haven't met before and it's great to see how the, how the group grows. So just happy to be around and, and get the news. And I'll pass it to Tassin. Hi everybody. I want to praise uh, Mitch for actually overseeing the Devouch project and just being really awesome and uh, making sure we cross all our T's and dot all our highs. I want to praise Mo for being a great partner, especially when we, you know, the, especially for the Devouch uh, project, he was uh, everywhere and making sure nothing falls through the crack. I want to praise everybody. Uh, including the devs, uh, I mean, I want to praise uh, everybody for just being really awesome and uh, actually implementing our designs and in overall, great. I'll pass to, I'll pass to Marco. <laughs> Thanks, Dawson. Uh, 
Hey everybody, I want to praise, um, who did I want to praise? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, I want to praise Mo and Tossin for Devouch um, designs that they did um, this month. And I also want to praise uh, Mitch for leading the efforts. And I also want to praise Almond for uh, setting up a call with the marketing agency and pushing this forward. That's it for me now. I'll keep it short this time. And I'm pass it over to Moshe Hab if you haven't gone yet. I don't know. Hey, thanks, Marco. Hello, everyone. Um, I want to praise uh, Krati for her continuous support and continuous uh, team management effort and project management effort. Um, it's a great plus. Like, I'm glad you are here. I want to praise uh, Kai and Nicholas for assisting and supporting with everything DevOps and actually supporting everyone uh, when we have problems with Giveth. Um, I also want to support uh, Amin, uh, Muhammad, uh, Carlos, and all, all the guys who have been working continuously <clears throat> to improve our applications. Thank you all. Uh, I'll pass it to. I'm not sure who hasn't gone yet. I'll just pick someone up. So, <clears throat> Nico. Perfect. And uh, as Ashley said, we have to turn off our cameras. Right. Take it, Nico. Okay, so I'd like to give my praise to Heather, Fischel, Ahmad, our HR crew for being awesome people, making sure everyone feels supported, payments are on time, praise Fischel, find resolutions and many other things. And also I'd like to give my praise to Mitch, Nicola, and Heather, and um, Fischel, Shane for our DOPS call. Wonderful meeting with wonderful updates from admin to contributor support, making sure everyone feels heard and engaged. So, yeah, and I'm going to pass it to um, Noah. Hi team, um, big praise to Mif, Zep team, and to Zep Well, Mif has Zep team that works pretty good, so she can switch to me. This is a new experience. Good to see you guys again, Tristan. And I also praise Bitroy and Sam for the AI matchmaking that is going really well. And I hope we get some um, new results during this week or for the next week. And uh, I'll pass it to Marcelo. If you didn't want to. Yes. Um. So um, I want to praise uh, Jake for really helping me regarding all the grants we are following right now, and there are a lot. I want to uh, praise uh, everyone from the Covalent Opportunity <laughs> uh, chat because they provided all the information. And I want to praise Griff for jumping in and supporting the right Griff, Griff and Lauren for jumping in and supporting the writing of grants. And I will pass it to, uh, I think everyone, everyone went. Monique, uh, don't have a mic, so I'll give it back to Gr Griff. Sure, let's sling it over to Katabe. Okay, everyone. Um, well, uh, I want to praise, let's see, uh, Jake, Marcelo, Lauren, and um, Griff. Which I think have been mostly pushing the give it grants, uh, kind of like standardizing processes and and improving all that area. Uh, I think that they're making really great progress. So thank you guys. Um, I want to praise. Let's see. Um, grief and anyone that has been involved on uh, anything related to to QAC. And the first steps towards Girth. It's really exciting for me to hear about that. And um, I want to praise um, Alman and Mitch for also meeting yesterday, organizing the great pizza DAO, and saving me some pizza. Um, let's see. I don't know if uh, Danny has gone, so I'll pass it to Danny.
Oh, sorry, sorry. Finding all the right buttons. Can y'all hear me? I'm going to assume you can. Yep. Uh, okay. I was so not ready. That's why I was listening. I want to praise D for being all over the Twitters in all the different realms. I feel like I stay better informed because D is reading. Uh, I want to praise Mitch for being all over the boats governance. Uh, it's really easy for me to see where I need to time in and vote and get things passed. And I want to praise Griff also because it just lights up my day to see Griff in my DMs. I love Giveth and all of Giveth, but mostly I love you as a human um, and all that you're doing. Thanks, and I'll pass it on. Uh, I don't know, Fischel? Thank you, Danny. Um, I would like to praise Shane for joining the team and for the smooth onboarding and delegation of tasks. So she's been with us for three weeks already and she's been learning so much and been supporting me so much already. So praise Shane and welcome her around when you see her somewhere in the discord and i want to praise nico for being around everywhere so for being so reliable from like all this different and a lot of like small and big admin tasks that he's doing like from work agreements to one security prep call to contributor support in general so praise nico for that and i want to praise jake and marcelo the fundraising team for being so responsive to all of my Grand questions okay. and for being so like responsive. So thank you, thank you. And I'll pass it to um, Monique. Have you gone yet? Jim, everybody. I want to um, uh, praise uh, Lauren and Kuren for their great job on their recent QF rounds. I also want to praise Mish and all the tech team members for resolving lots of issues uh, and dealing with uh, you know, the performance of the DAP. Uh, and I want to uh, praise also Frischel for, for, for her great job doing lots of uh, financials for the group. And I pass it to Almond. Uh, let's sling it over to Craddy. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I want to praise uh, uh, Moshe Hub, uh, Kai, and Nicholas for taking turns every eight hours and ensuring that we are monitoring production issues 24-7 in all time zones. And I think they have been doing a great job of uh, raising uh, issues uh, sooner than they affect a large number of people. And then they have been actively uh, resolving a lot of those issues with the dev team. Secondly, I want to praise uh, Carlos, Ramin, uh, Mohammed uh, for fixing a lot of performance issues, fixing issues on the uh, donation draft service uh, and making sure that the issues, uh, the, the donations that went missing, they got added back successfully and the DAP performance improved uh, using their efforts. A little bit more will be done next week, but so far, uh, all the efforts, they have really improved the performance to a good extent. Uh, lastly, I want to praise uh, Mitch, Monik, Kieran for regularly meeting developers, bringing alignment uh, and tracking progress and escalating uh, blockers. Um, yeah, I think uh, would also like to praise Freshel, Heather, Nico, Nima for helping track uh, the financials and the team culture and unblocking people in their day-to-day -day work. Passing it back to you, Griff. Sure, I'll pass it. One more, one more final praise. I know we, we just don't have time for everyone. Let's throw it over to Jake. Yeah, I made the cut. Well, in response to an amazing month of the galactic round, I'm going to start with to infinity and beyond with that round, Kieran and Lauren, you did an unbelievable job. Uh, really nice donations going in, and I, I can't wait to see what the final results are. Also, our interstellar superhero, Ash, she does so much with givebacks, and she does just so much all around. It's a pleasure when I get to one-on-one -on -one with her, and she's such a, a very sweet uh, person. So if you get some time, 
done it with ash you won't go wrong and then my very own little baby yoda marcello is doing an unbelievable job with fundraising he's getting grants in left and right uh, and just learning uh giveth in and out so it's been a pleasure and i'm looking forward to to seeing where we go with that probably won't even need to speak pretty soon because you are baby yoda so there we go let's take it away griff let's get this party started Thank you all. And uh, although most of you know this, I think some of you are actually new to this party. So I want to just say that you experienced praise. So praise is not just something we do to start off these calls. It's also uh, and other calls, which I recommend every call should be started with praise, honestly. Uh, it's also something that we do 24-7, 365 in the Discord. So you can activate uh, your praise, the praise bot. And so you can just praise. And then you can actually just hit backslash praise and say what you want about awesome people, about all awesome people that we're working with on the day to day. So it's really fun. And the craziest thing is when you praise people, you're giving them give tokens. So uh, we're, we while we've paused distribution for the last next three months the they're, you know, assuming Dow Ops gets decent budget, we will distribute give tokens for praise. So uh, don't be shy on that praise. Uh, we are doing a monthly tell hall for May and the big announcements, of course, QAC, which is in uh, this awesome thing that we're building with Polygon to uh, use their grant program. And it's the first step towards GURVS. Uh, and like just to review the announcement slightly, you know, we are not launching GURVS like the at first. This is first more of a Polygon grants project. So it's really going to be focused more on polygon focused projects rather than projects that are uh you know like in giveth so much you know uh we should save those projects for gervs which will come out hopefully later in the year after we do this first round uh with polygon so uh but uh there is this really great tweet thread and man i don't think we've had a successful tweet like this since maybe the launch of give power maybe um 128 retweets 200 likes, pretty awesome. Uh, also, there's some votes on Snapshot, so go check out the Snapshot action. I'll show, I'm sure Mitch will talk more about them. And then uh, I want to thank everyone. Almost everyone in this call gets, I DM them on the regular, uh, sending you tweets. If you want DMs from me, sending you tweets, DM me on, on Telegram. It's at Griff Green. Uh, I, I send out like a daily report on uh, cool tweet, uh, a, a decent, uh, not even daily, maybe like five times a week, a tweet that's interesting that we could all engage with. And I think it's been really making the difference. I've seen a lot more organic engagement on Twitter because of, of this uh, of this coordination effort. So thank you all for so, for pushing so hard. And uh, for the Dell service announcements, uh, you know, we have. Uh, these awesome forms, please, if you have feedback on anyone, good or bad, we have these great type forms and they work so well. Um, if you're reviewing a contributor, feel free to fill out this type form. We also have a special type form with different questions for uh, leaders. So definitely consider filling out that these forms and we have self review forms as well. And if you're feeling if it's more than just feedback on someone's work, if there's a, if you feel like there's actual conflict. Also, don't be shy to fill out the gravity request form. It's super short, super fast. Uh, and, you know, it just helps us. We have like a behind the team, uh, behind the scene team, mostly Nicola. Thank you, Nicola. Um, going behind the scenes uh, to support people who are having conflict. So, uh, you know, if we take care of it sooner rather than later, uh, it'll it'll um, a stitch in time saves nine, even in relational fabric. Yeah, and, and we have lots of people taking some time off. Uh, I should add myself here too. Cherik's off today. Uh, I am next week. I am kind of MIA because I'll be in Austin for a conference. Although I'll still, of course, be working. Uh, Mateo is is off in in early June. Amin's taking some well deserved time off at the end of the end of this month. Ali Reza's got some time off coming up. Jake. Uh, it's got some good time off in June, uh, Kai. And so make sure to uh, s celebrate these guys taking a well-deserved break. And uh, and let's start this show. I'll throw it over to, uh, I don't see Kieran here, so I'll throw it over to Lauren for QF. 
It's me. Um, yeah, cool. So we've got the in the QF working group, um, lots of exciting things. QF stands for quadratic funding. Um, we've got a new QF round that we just recently announced. It's going to be called Give Earth, and it's supporting environmental projects um, who have an address on Cello. So we're, we're basically it includes all kinds of environmental projects, um, everything from climate to permaculture to waste management to water cleanup so we're, we're, we're keeping like a pretty broad net but if you're a project if you have a project you know friends who have a project in there just get them an add a cello address and fill out our type form um i linked to a tweet here on the slides um so you could go there um and then also we've got this great tweet thread out um called qf innovations um that explains like all of the cool things that we're doing with qf um everything like our qf rounds are so cool because they use everything from give backs, donor rewards to decentralized project curation with give power to cluster matching to streaming donations that count for QF through, thanks to our super fluid integration. So give it QF is getting so stacked. Um, anyway, you can go to the next slide when you have a second. Um, so what went well last month? Um, in the last month, we had a uh, retrospective call with the ENS team and it went super, super well. Major praise to Tam who helped to run that retrospective and also create this awesome slide deck that's kind of like a summary of what they said went well, didn't go so well. And we just basically had like really, really glowing positive feedback, especially related to our communications and our ability to execute. And it just like, I feel like everything went pretty swift, like a well oiled machine. Um, the main criticisms were just like kind of around like the projects that were in the round and they wanted to have a little bit more control. And that's like definitely something we could really easily um, remedy for the future. So um, yeah, the Galactic Giving Round also ended last month and it was a huge success. And I want to shout out to Regen to Token. Um, I think that like really helped to drive even more donations to our um, platform. This Regen.tips, if you haven't checked it out, you can kind of like link your thing. If you've been a long time donator on Giveth, you'll just like see your score and you can see lots of Givethers up there on the leaderboard, which is super cool. But this token uh, launch basically um, directed a lot of people to the Galactic Giving QF round. So the Galactic Giving QF round with a $50,000 matching pool, it was 50,000 USD glow, saw $34,000 equivalent donated across the projects in the round. Um, and it was like such an epic round too. Like Jake and Griff really did an amazing job of securing sponsors for the round. We had 13 QF sponsors. Um, so it was an amazing round. We're doing the data analysis right now. Um, we also had great Twitter spaces. Amon and Kieran were, were running them um, with seven sponsors who showed up to, to co-host and support. Um, yeah, we also officially implemented cluster match QF. So um, the forum post is up there explaining how that works, but basically it kind of like clusters together similar donor profiles. Um, and so like a, a cluster will just count as one donor um, if all those donors kind of like have exactly the same patterns. Um, so what, what this kind of leads to is, um, you know, lessened uh, civil attacks and like fraud attacks and also just like a even more democratic distribution of funds. Um, yeah, we also integrated, I mentioned it before, but we also integrated, um, super fluid with QF. So now if you're like, oh, there's so many QF rounds, you could actually just set it and forget it. You can set a donation stream to your favorite project. And then as long as it's like, over the, the, you know, the, it, it, it it's like over a dollar in a two week period, then it'll count towards QF. Um, so it's super cool. You could just set streams to your favorite projects and then like never have to think about donating for many, many months. And it will always count in all the QF rounds. So amazing, amazing work. Um, like major praise to Mitch and the entire dev team who just like really pushed it to getting that up there. Um, yeah, we also covered a lot of um, dev issues related to QF. Like now we can have a custom token for the matching pool instead of seeing like just matching funds in dollars. You could see it in Matic or Glow or whatever it actually is, which is super cool. And we made lots of improvements to the data export. What could have gone better? Well, you guys probably all mostly know we had the DAP performance issues that happened in the Galactic QF giving QF round, which kind of like really shook things up a little bit. And um, it took us a little while also getting the, the data um, to start analysis. Like we're just getting it now. And the round ended a week ago, a week ago. So it really is kind of tough to, to kind of start it now. But we've done a lot of work to improve our DAP, um, as Karate was mentioning, also like in her praise. So hopefully things are looking much, much better in the future rounds. And then also this kind of like surprise happened where Gitcoin changed the way that the stamps work and got rid of some stamps. So then our stamp threshold actually like didn't really do what we what we wanted it to do anymore. So we have to kind of work with them and 
and modify our system um, to, to like basically work with it a little bit better. So what's coming up next? The dappening continues. The data analysis for galactic give giving is starting now and is in progress. So hopefully we'll be able to get those matching funds distributions up sometime within a week. Um, we're fundraising. We're looking for sponsors for the Give Earth round. So if you know a community or you have a community that wants to um, donate some funds to the matching pool to support environmental projects on Giveth Verified Projects, um, reach out to Griff or Jake. Um, yeah, we're also doing a broader QF fundraise. We're looking into getting a grant from Thank Arb and other different places um, and the passport adjustments I mentioned before. Um, some goals we have for this upcoming round. For Galactic Giving, we want to improve our data analysis turnaround and save also funds from having to outsource parts of the data analysis. Um, and then for the Give Earth round, we're, we have a targeted goal of 25K as a minimum matching pool. And then maybe we could go up to 50K. Who knows? That's that's kind of like a lofty, lofty vision. But that would be awesome if we could raise 50K in funding as well. Um, yeah. And at least 50 sponsors in the round. Yeah, that's all. Sorry. Long rant. Pass it to Mitch. Dap working group. There's my mute button. Here we go. Now we're good. Uh, cool. So let's go to the DAP working group. Uh, we got some cool things here. Um, we've got a give talk that we did last week. Oh, and it's on Spotify already. Damn. Oh, Almond went in, changed the link, everything. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's on Spotify. We did that on Monday with Peeth from Metagame. Uh, Metagame has so much stuff going on and they've done so many cool things to like, you know, build a successful community, keep their people engaged. And so it was like a really um, insightful talk with Peeth. So uh, go ahead and check that out at your leisure. Um, Welcome there's to the also Green Hill another one. podcast. Yeah, Griff's already got it there. The Griff on the Green Hill podcast. Uh, I listened to that one. It was super interesting. Griff's on there, Shilling QAC and the path to GURVS. Um, so definitely check it out. Uh, and there is a VDAO X space. I haven't seen this one yet, actually. But yeah, Griff was in there onboarding the next billion. Here we go. That's the meme we all want to hear. So check that out as well. And the last thing I want to mention to you guys is we're going to be launching a campaign. Uh, probably tomorrow we're going to be announcing it um, to the public. But it's going to be a recurring donations campaign that's going to be lasting basically all summer. Uh, we're going to be promoting people to make uh, recurring donations to the top 25 Give Power Boosted projects. Um, and they're going to be able to win some sweet prizes um, as a result from that. So um, keep an eye out for that. That's going to be uh, hitting the public next week. And we're going to get people to start streaming on Giveth. So uh, that's what we got. We got some meetings. Uh, they happen Monday to Thursday. Um, sometimes they happen 7.30. Sometimes they happen 8 a.m. Sometimes they happen 8, 15 a.m. These developer daily stand-ups. I don't know. I just do what my Google Calendar tells me to do. Um, it's hard to keep track of. But um, there's also comms calls that happen regularly every week at Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Mexico time. Um, so those are the main calls uh, if you want to be involved in the regular DAP happenings. Apart from that, uh, we can go to what DAP in so far. Uh, we did a release, I think, on, geez, on Tuesday. Uh, we released some new version of the app, front end, back end. Uh, lots of bug fixes, lots of optimizations, lots of fixes for, for quadratic funding as well. Um, so that went up. 2.26 and props to the entire developer team that made that happen. Um, as Lauren said in her previous slide, we finished the Superfluid integration. I don't know. I think I had that on like three slides every month saying like, okay, we're, we're going to finish it this time, guys, like I promise. But now we've actually done it. So um, that's up. You can use Superfluid to make recurring donations to any project that's added an optimism address. Uh, you can donate in tokens such as ETH, OP, DAI, USDC, and even give tokens. So you can set up a donation stream to your favorite projects on the platform. And as Lauren mentioned, if they're in a quadratic funding round, uh, they may be eligible to give the project some matching funds from the pool. And also, 
they'll be eligible for givebacks as well. So really, really cool stuff. Um, also, as Lauren mentioned, region token launch was a huge boost to donations. Uh, some stats around the region token launch, uh, pretty wild. I was keeping track of the numbers pretty steady. And at one point, we were about six times higher traffic than at any point during the QF round, th during the Galactic Giving round. So, I mean, like, it was pretty insane the amount of traffic that the DAP was having. So, um, as a result, there was over $200,000 worth of donations made on the app um, during that period, with about maybe twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 made to, to verified projects on the platform. So... Very interesting things happening on Giveth uh, there as a result. And so um, we're actually going to have a Give Talk with them on June 7th uh, to learn more about like what was their inspiration and the strategy and why did they pick Giveth? You know, I'm, I'm so curious. So we'll be chatting with them. Uh, the comms team is putting up lots of blog posts. We're really reviving the Giveth blog. Uh, lots of content around quadratic funding, recurring donations, uh, you know, uh, lots of SEO work as well. Um, and also we, we recovered from uh, the DAP performance issues that, that Lauren mentioned. Uh, stats, as of right now from Season 3, total donations on the platform, $280,000 uh, since April 5th. Uh, donations to verified projects, uh, $84,000, probably a little bit higher since I got those stats last night. Uh, newly verified projects on the platform is... 29 so some pretty cool stats so far in the in the season what could have gone better well as we mentioned we had some serious performance issues right as the galactic giving round was uh underway so you know that wasn't really cool and we had to like scramble and a lot of people did some crazy long hours trying to fix that stuff so yeah uh we're still looking for a community lead superstar or maybe a marketing agency. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, but we still haven't found that person to fill that role uh, for leading our community. So, yeah. Uh, what we're going to be doing next month. Let's look. Uh, yeah, we've got our next Give Talk guests. It's going to be with the Regen team uh, launching the Spray and Pray. Don't worry, the name is pending. But that's the recurring donations campaign that I mentioned uh, just earlier on. Uh, Monique is leading the base integration. Giveth is coming to base. And Monique and the dev team are going to make that happen. So watch out for that. Uh, the DevOps team is on a suicide mission to integrate Kubernetes. Uh, you know, Godspeed to them. Uh, we tried it once. We failed. We're going to try and do it again. Uh, hopefully it works. Uh, and this will allow our DAP to scale faster for instances when we have like really unexpected high traffic. So we'll see if it works. Uh, we have a lot of recorded project interviews as part of Meet the Makers. And that's going to be going onto social media um, pretty soon. I think Almond's working on editing the videos. So yeah, lots of stuff in the DAP. And I will pass it on to Lauren. Okay, great. Give Economy Working Group. Um, yeah, so lots of fun stuff in the Give Economy Working Group. Um, some things here to consider and to vote on. Um, we've got two votes up for Give uh, Liquidity proposals. There's one with USD Glow. Um, that's just kind of like a nice partnership sort of thing. It's going to be a 5k liquidity pool. And then there's one that I think Griff mentioned at the beginning that's related to QAC, which is setting up some Give Liquidity um, for uh, Give and Matt on Polygon ZK EVM. So um, to give liquidity related things for you to vote on. And then there's one more vote up here that I mean, I was just looking through my messages and I was like, wow, it's just so fast. Like, so we have um, the, the old NR give DAO is um, basically like you can't really use Aragon. It's holding a lot of gives. So we're trying to redirect the stream and then we'll move the funds from the NR give DAO to a multi-sig where they can be held safely until we have a better solution for our reputation DAO. So this is a and yeah, it's an EVM CRISPR vote um, there if you have the access to vote on that. Um, and uh, yeah, also we, we are uh, another other in other comms related things. There's a forum post up about sending givebacks retroactively to people who were part of the Quadratic Force. Major praise to Ashley. 
for getting this up so quickly. Um, so have a look on there and just leave feedback if you have any. And then as Griff mentioned, also there is the Q Act announcement that just went live, had like tons of action and engagement. Anyway, we'll move on to next thing. So I'm not repeating myself. What happened in May? Um, we extended Give Power Rewards and synced the Notify Reward Bots. Praise Aveen, praise Mohammed. So now they happen at the same time, which is just honestly quite nice and comfortable and clean. It feels clean. Um, here I put uh, screenshots of the APR. So interestingly to know, we actually moved so that a lot of the rewards are going out on Optimism. Well, 75% goes on Optimism and 25% on Gnosis Chain. So as you'll see, like the one on the right is optimism um so the aprs on optimism are actually higher i mean in either pool wherever you stake you're still going to get the same amount of gift power for locking the same amount of time but we're trying to just make it more attractive for people to move to optimism and then also we're going to be doing some fun things moving give backs more onto optimism i'll let you know about that in a minute um we also updated our coin gecko page major praise to william for that it's got all of our liquidity pools now and all of our contract addresses and all the appropriate chains and thanks to griff we got on the jupiter strict list so if you just type in give on jupiter you'll be able to find it and it's not like this is a scary token it's like this is a legitimate token from a great community that we love. That's not exactly what it says, but almost. Um, yeah, liquidity fixes. We also did tons of work moving around to give token liquidity, which has just been like a long time coming. We moved our Fox Give LP over to Mainnet. So now we have a boost of liquidity on Mainnet. We changed our Ichi Give uh, LP to be ETH Give. And uh, we moved our D2D. And we're still working on the node one, I think. But it's like we're just kind of doing a lot of this work, cleaning up our liquidity. And praise to William, who put together this kind of like summary of where of, where all our liquidity pools are so we can better manage them. So, But things are looking pretty good for the Give token liquidity across chains. It's like more to what we want and more up to date now. Um, Superfluid was mentioned a million times. It works for givebacks now, too. Isn't that cool? Um, we also got our first givebacks recirculation flags data from Trusta Labs. So you may have heard that we review givebacks to make sure that the donations aren't being recirculated. And when I say we, I mean Griff. And it's just crazy to get Griff to try to do something every two weeks that's like an integral part of like a well-oiled machine that we're trying to do here because he's pretty busy. So we're looking a way to automate it. And we finally got our first data back from Trusta Labs that's basically like them flagging what they see as recirc. So getting one step closer to creating a better process there. Um, the Give Economy Dune dashboard has been making some really, really great progress to Amin added some bits to it that now you can see like the holders on different chains. And there's like a lot of really interesting detail around like percentages of Give tokens that are locked on different chains. So this is looking super, super cool. Oh, and the, the and our Give thing I already mentioned. Um, cool. What could have gone better? I'm a little bit like, oh frustrated that our connects bridge still isn't up and running it's been you know taking them a really really long time just to like whitelist the gift token which is like what the connects crew needs to do in order for us to do any work on this so i really hope we can get that bridge up and running soon but like i'm not feeling great about it because i said last month i was disappointed that it was taking so long and i'm saying again that i'm very disappointed that now it's two months i'm disappointed about it um, and the Lbot, Lbot, Lbank trading bot, it's like we have it ready, but it still doesn't work. So this is kind of like another thing that I'm just like really hoping we can resolve quickly. And our marketing efforts are slowing down. Um, Rachel ha doesn't quite have the bandwidth to be taking on the gift token Twitter account um, at full speed. So we're kind of slowing down the marketing efforts or at least shifting them a little bit, trying to figure out like what we can actually do with what we got here. What's coming up in June? Um, in the Give Economy Working Group, still tons of things going on. More Give listing updates. We're trying to update Sushi Swap. We're trying to update Uniswap and make sure our token logos and everything's looking good and that we don't have any warnings. Um, we're also working on a major effort on figuring out what our Give distribution looks like because we had the at launch distribution and then we changed things and we moved them and we had rewards and we had all this crazy stuff happen. And so like William and I are working on putting together a like where all our Give actually is and what Give we actually have in which buckets still and how we can move them around. Um, we're also vetting market makers to see if we can we can get some market making happening for the Give token. Um, we are flipping Give backs to OP. So coming up really, really soon, actually coming up starting next round which starts on tuesday instead of having give backs when you donate it on all all the chains you get give backs on dosis except for on optimism you get give backs on optimism we're switching it so um when you donate on 
Gnosis, you'll get givebacks on Gnosis, but if you donate on any of the other chains, you'll get givebacks on Optimus, except for Solana, because we don't give givebacks for donations on Solana, because it's just too complicated. But um, yeah, so that's starting on round 64, which I think starts on uh, Tuesday. So pretty exciting um, seeing that coming. Um, so you're going to be getting your more give on OP, and then you can stake it on that like sweet, juicy APR OP pool. Um, the new NR give multisig was actually created. I wrote this earlier today before I realized how quick Mitch is and we're migrating our subgraph because the what we're using is being deprecated so we need to kind of like update it and so that's like really relevant to the gift economy but anyway that is all i have and so i will sling it over to jake with the fundraising working group cool cool thank you so we meet on mondays but we async most of the week uh we're pretty much drinking the quack pretty hard. So that's in our top tweets there. We really want to make sure everybody knows about it if it hasn't been said enough. Uh, also, we're pretty high on the galactic round. So that's another tweet that got a lot of views uh, out there. And then thanks a lot to Almond for quickly pushing out the Cello Retro PGF Zero. Uh, results for that should be out tomorrow. So some interesting stuff. And then uh, just some CTAs call to action. If you haven't done it yet, Glow Dollar has a vote right now out there. And we started out pretty high, like 90 some percent. And as votes do, they start to level out. We have one day left. If, if you haven't voted, please help give it out and get that additional 25% uh, bonus. That'd be great. Uh, what happened since we last met? Well, as mentioned, we're, we're drinking the quack. So announced the massive deal with Polygon uh, to get going on, on that. Uh, there's a type form out there if you're interested in joining the party. Uh, we saw the results from Octon Epoch 3, 13.3 ETH. It got pretty exciting there at the end. So praise to everybody that hung with us uh, and shifted your votes as need be to make sure that we, we made that threshold. Uh, Gitcoin Grants 20. We actually, this one stepped back a little bit on the marketing and the comms just to see how it goes uh, with that route. And we still saw something like over $8,000 in matching funds. So that's pretty good and brought the whole total over 10 k uh, And this just in, breaking news, we won a covalent grant uh, just today. And that will be $15,000 uh, in credits. So praise to Kai and, and a bunch of people like Marcelo for working on that. That'll be pretty fun to see how that pans out. A little different uh, grant for us working in credits. Uh, as mentioned by the QF team, but since we do a lot of the, the sponsor uh, outreach for that, worth mentioning again, we saw that the, the galactic round went from 25K up to 50K. That's pretty cool to see uh, that much fold. Um, unfortunately, one negative uh, is that our Q or our, our retro PGF3 token stream finished up. I would have loved to see that just go on forever. But just in time for the next retro PGF, we'll be coming out. Uh, next month. So hopefully we'll get that stream rocking and rolling, maybe even a, a bigger stream this time. Uh, as mentioned, or maybe it wasn't mentioned, but the DVouch uh, grant has kicked off. Praise Mitch. He's got a nice uh, uh, post and optimism on the forum there. If you want to check it out, leave a comment, maybe uh, pat him on the back. He always needs a little bit of self-love. Uh, submitted grants this month for Cello, Retro PGF Zero, Kyoto, Metis, Covalent and xrpl as you can see on the right there uh all the kind of the analytics not too bad for this month and then what could have gone better well we unfortunately uh didn't win out on the l tip proposal which uh the team put a lot of work and praise griff for really uh, putting on the bifocals and analyzing that proposal and probably we'll say this every month we could always win some more l2 integration grants moving on to june uh, and what's coming up like pre-mentioned, Cello Retro PGF results will be coming out here tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, grifted enough in the streets of Berlin to, to pump that up for us. Um, also, as mentioned in the CTA's Glow Dollar Public Goods Funding, uh, split results will come out in just over 24 hours. Uh, we'll have some follow-up posts for public nouns and octant. As we've seen, those are really, really important for our Q force. Uh, and those follow-ups uh, get us additional funding in the future. Uh, I'm going to jump on the big plane in the sky and head to block split on Monday, so I'll be a little MIA next week as well. Um, and then hopefully we'll have some updates on those uh, multiple submittals that I just mentioned before. And for June, uh, 
Monik is going to get base rocket and rolling for us because they do kind of retroactive grants. Uh, so then that will help us with that uh, grant. Uh, we're looking at BNB, Polkadot, ICP, and we got a couple more out there. So stay tuned for what we have. And then, of course, we really love uh, Kieran and, and Lauren, what they're doing with the QF. So Griff and I are going to continue working hard on, on Push and Give Earth and Cello. And uh, that's kind of it for the fundraising team. So let me sling it on back to Mitch. Yeah, sure. Let's talk about DAO Ops. Um, so DAO Ops, DAO Ops. Well, we just had our biweekly meeting. Uh, that happens at 8 a.m. Uh, Mexico time, just the hour before before this town hall, but we do it biweekly. Uh, we also have a governance call that happens biweekly uh, Mondays at 9 a.m., and I believe the next one is going to be on the 27th, uh, and that happens at 9 a.m. Uh, Mexico time. Um, happening. Somebody's got some microphone feedback that they got to deal with. Marcelo. Thanks. Okay, great. Uh, cool. Oh, no, I lost my slide. So there's some stuff that you can check out mostly for contributors here. There is a form that you can put in your equity preferences. So we had that um, chat uh, over the last couple of months about, you know, following up from vesting and maybe people want to take part of their compensation and give tokens. And so that's a form for you to record uh, what preference you'd like for that. Uh, low, medium, high, give maxi, uh, some important disclaimers, some of the rules. Um, so if you get paid regularly by Giveth, uh, you can start filling that out right now because we would like to start doing this uh, for our next upcoming payments period. So that'll be in about um, one week that we would like to uh, have this all ready and start paying people partially in give. So that's there. And that you can see the forum post where that whole discussion has been unfolding for since February 29th. So yeah, glad to see it happen. Uh, other thing is there's an active forum post there for how to improve the season process. Uh, you know, Monique left some comments in there. I think Lauren as well. Um, and so as we're approaching the time to get ready for season four, uh, hopefully I can take all this into consideration and make a proposal for how we do season four. Uh, submit your time reports by June 1st again. If you want to get paid, do your time reports. Well, we'll pay you anyway, but do your time reports. Uh, have them done by June 1st. Uh, the quicker everybody does their time reports, the quicker Shell can work on getting everybody paid. So that's very important, please. Uh, some votes in the snapshot. Uh, there is the USD Glow. I think maybe we mentioned this already, but there is the... USD Glow token swap and LP on Optimism. And that is open for another five days to be voted on. Looks like a very strong yes with 12 million give, but uh, who knows? Anything could happen. Uh, the other snapshot vote is to make a Matic give token swap. Uh, and I think as soon as we get give tokens on Polygon ZK EVM, we'll be making an LP pool with that give Matic. So uh go ahead those can be voted on as well and that'll be open until the 29th of may uh looking like a very strong yes with 7.7 .7 million give on the yes but we'll see please vote use your oh, give yeah. tokens that, that guy with 15 thousandths of a token might persuade people you never know oh wow look yeah. at this hater yeah okay <laughs> that's funny uh those are some CTAs, some stuff you guys should chef definitely check out. Even while you're on this call, you can go and vote on those snapshot proposals and fill out that equity type form. Um, what went well last month? Let's have a look. What did we do? Well, uh, we brought in Shine or Shane, sorry, for um, accounting support. So she's been helping for Shell massively in doing all of the crazy accounting stuff that we need to do every single month, all the time. 
Um, the equity opportunities configuration has been finalized, so that's related to the type form um, that was in the CTAs. Uh, from our call, we're going to be doing some research into Giveth credit card again. Uh, for Shell, put me onto this organization called Cypher, and so I'm actually filling out some forms uh, in the background to see if we can get a Giveth credit card. Uh, finally, so you know, hopefully it goes well. Uh, DAOPS is still shrinking, so we voted to shrink last month. So you know, there's not a lot of big updates here from DAOPS, but uh, we're working on simplifying the payment process. Uh, doing less distributions, having to do less admin work uh, just to get everybody paid every month. Uh, Nico and Fershell worked on updating everyone's work agreements and sending the DMs uh, to get that signed up. Uh, wallet security call, uh, that's being prepared by the HR team with Kai. Uh, and so watch out for that. Uh, we improved the HR section in Notion. Uh, all the HR policies can be found in one place. I wish I had a link to that there. I'm sorry, I failed. But um, what could have gone better? Well, uh, reviewing the hours in Clockify, like getting working group leads to look at them, uh, approve them. It's very time consuming and a lot of like uh, chasing people to get stuff done, um, but it's kind of important. So uh, that's what could have gone better. Uh, what are we working on next? Uh, we are distributing equity preferences type form, right? You guys know about that. There's a wallet security call that's coming up. Uh, we're going to keep trying to make our payment processes simpler. They're still kind of complicated, so there's, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, for Shell, has a profit and loss sheet coming up. Wow, that's so exciting. Uh, and the buddy review call season is happening now. I don't know how that one got in there, but buddy review call season. Okay, it's happening now. Check in on your buddies, schedule calls. Yeah, and uh, check in, get some feedback. Uh, that's it for DAOPS, and I'll pass it back to you, Griff. Thanks, guys. So, well, now we have a little time for Q&A. Does anyone have any questions? I mean, feel free to either type it in the in, on the side if, if you're, like, feeling, feeling timid, or if you want to just, like, unmute and ask a question about anything that's going on. This is your moment. When they change their wallet address, or do any of that actually, the funds will still be streaming to the, it's like the, there's like a go between contract basically that like accrues all the funds. And then all the project owner has to do is go in and just like click claim uh, to claim them. So it doesn't go straight to the recipient address. And it allows the project owner to like change their recipient address whenever they want and they won't lose their funds that are being streamed to them. No, they go to their my projects page and they just go in the actions button on the on the, the project card. There's a thing that says claim recurring donations. Um, and that's all in the documentation, actually. So, uh, not, not too hard to claim your recurring donations at all. Uh, we have no control over that because of like, if the donor starts the stream, like the donor is the owner of it. So like we as giveth or as the project owner like we can't cancel that um that stream that's being made will they still you know? be able to, will they still be able to claim it even if they deactivate the page like their their project card should be able should mm, that's a good question if they get canceled the project card doesn't show up anymore but they would still be able to claim it from superfluid Mm, no, they wouldn't be, actually. That's a great question, Ashley. I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. How often do we cancel projects? I'm curious. Mm. 
Um, or like if Turkey, if, if Turkey only lets you take crypto donations for a month. Oh yeah, weird stuff like that. Hey, while we're at the subject, uh, I just want to ask, like, why uh, can like why does the user cannot deactivate the projects from the from their profile? Like, why isn't there like deactivate project option in the profile and only on the project page? Actually, on the project, that's a good one because I just made an issue to let people do the like verify the project without going on the project page either so like i mean the answer is because nobody's out of it yet i would say <laughs> and like what does it yeah and, and what does it actually mean to deactivate like uh, is that wouldn't would should there be like a delete option or like permanently delete mm -hmm. the project or something like that i, I know we, I we discussed that some time ago that it wasn't possible or something like that yeah like i don't know if our database handles very well like straight up deleting things from it i don't think that's something we typically do um but deactivating means that the project isn't listed anymore and can't receive donations um either by directly going to the url or anything so mm. yeah People that exactly like Ashley said, you deactivate your project when like your whatever your your project was for is kind of like finished, you know, so maybe you completed yeah. your goals or if it was like a natural disaster or some other event is like over. So, you know, something like that. Yeah, I mean, as a user, I would probably expect like after deactivating, I would probably expect an option uh, to delete it or something like that. delete it. You could archive it. That's another thing. We could do that without deleting. Yeah, it's not strong. It's not not that strong as deleting, archiving. It. I mean, then you just don't see it anymore. You know, it's still there, but you just don't see it. Yeah. Well, anyways, okay, cool. Well, um, I guess you guys will be adding the deactivation option in the profile as well. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. All right. Yeah. I know there's only one minute left. Oops, go ahead. Oh, but me just very quick. I, I have not one question, but thousands of questions about how does QI work. And I'm just thinking that it will be really cool to have like a, a specific call to talk about that because I'm very curious. And that's, that's a show that. Yeah, I just heard all of this incentivization to move to optimism. And as someone with a lot of tokens stoke long or stake long term, and locked on Gnosis, and also a lot of projects that have staked and locked on Gnosis. I'm wondering if there's any exploration of how we might be able to easily offer options for moving some of those tokens to Optimism, since there's better rates there. I think the big thing is uh, Connects Bridge will be will be out there soon uh we thought it would be out there by now but um we're what we're migrating to optimism is just the givebacks so when you donate on mainnet or arbitrum or cello you'll get tokens on optimism and and but yeah for sure we are you know i i don't think it'll take too long for the tokens that are staked to because I guess uh, Lauren or Amin or whoever is here that knows, when did that actual change happen? Was that Tuesday that the give power? 14th, I think. Yeah, so I think I think it'll just take time for uh, people who have liquid tokens to notice that the APRs are different and maybe we can promote it or something. And then I think it will stabilize. So I, I would people who have tokens locked just trust the market to be smart and uh, they will take tokens away from Gnosis and move it over to Optimism. Hold on a second. You said move from Gnosis to Optimism. Yeah, so the people who... I guess have, I missed something here. Do I need to make any actions there? or No, it's other than if you have liquid give tokens, you get a much better rate taking them on Optimism than you do Gnosis. That's the main thing. And so, I have, yeah, I just have staked in the give farm. 
Yeah. So if once they get liquid, you want to move it over to optimism. But I think that it won't take much time for people to notice and then the the APRs will balance out. Mm-hmm. But thank you guys. We we are two minutes over and all I right. really appreciate all the time. Man, thank you guys for coming. This has been another great month for Giveth. Region token airdrop QAC. This is a wild month. It's amazing the changes that happen month to month. Doing these calls every month instead of every every week is like a, a pretty dramatic difference. So, uh, but thank you all for coming. Thank you for the great month in the Giveth Galaxy, and we'll see you next month. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye.